Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Corsair Dream League Season 9. I'm OD Pixel. I'm here with Fogs, and we are getting ready to take you through the final series of today, of course, being VGJ Storm versus the Immortals. We've seen two series so far. A lot of sort of one sided Dota. It seems like these teams yeah. in NA, if the game's sort of over by the mid game. Yeah, it seems. I mean, every, I think every game was like 20 minutes. We knew pretty much exactly who was going to win. It's been pretty one-sided and it does seem like in this in this region omni reigns supreme it really does i think it, well, i would be very surprised if we see uh, omni sort of ignored and at least not seriously seriously considered for the first phase bans as teams will pick it first pick and it will win you the game yeah i think that i think we're just gonna have to go back to those old bands that we've been the more usual bands that we've been seeing you know the omni the razor the naga the tiny and then plus two the plus two is, I mean, sometimes it's Bane, sometimes it's Disruptor, sometimes it's just entirely team specific. I think in this one, team specific one we can say is Immortals. I think that they should probably ban the bounty. Yeah. I uh, know they love yeah. to play it, but I think it's whoever's first pick is going to go for that bounty hunter if there's not an Omni left. We so maybe we'll see trade. Yeah. Yeah, because I know Immortals, it's Immortals. What's Bounty Hunter? It's a run at you, Hero. That's what these guys like to play. So I think that's going to be probably the most contested Hero between this draft, if the Omni is not left in the pool, of course. Yeah, and uh, we'll probably be able to show you the uh, brackets just in case you guys have missed any of the other early series we've had today, just so you can get a picture of what's happened so far. As we can see, 2-0 Immortals is GG was this morning's matchup, and then the one before, one after that, sorry, was VGJ taking down Iceberg 2-1. to one. So we're playing out the upper bracket today, VGJ versus Immortals as this final uh, game of the day. And tomorrow we'll be starting with is GG versus Iceberg, where we follow the lower bracket and, of course, the grand finals to the region itself to find out which of these four teams will make it to the Valve. Yep. The Valve? The, well, the Valve Minor. The uh, the Corsair Dream League Valve Minor. Nice. Good recovery. Yeah, thank you. So, also, we were saying um, it seems like Aggression reigns supreme, too. So, right, Aggression, Immortals. Immortals could, could go for this one, but I think VTJ Storm, they look hot, to be honest. Uh, snaking is on fire, in my opinion, on this offlane. In the two games where he's actually given a chance to play his hero in a great spot. I mean, his Omni Knight, every single time he was on point with his repels. He seemed to always be there for the fights as well. His Tide Hunter, we don't even need to say anything. He was, he dominated that game as Tide. So yeah, these, it's all about the aggression. And at least for me, for Storm, it's it's the uh, it's the two supports and the offlaner. They really made all the moves around. The course played great, but yeah. those guys just enabled them so much. Well, let's find out what goes on, ladies and gentlemen, because the draft has just begun. This is game one of Immortals versus VGJ Storm. So and Bounty bam. just gets banned. Even though they yeah. have first pick, Storm does take it out. All right. I think this one, we'll see more than the usual drafts, to be honest, right? I think between these, I think Iceberg throws a bit of a wrench in the works. I think mm -hmm. they, their drafting style is a little bit different than what we've been at least used to seeing, just where we see a lot of heroes, people just doing a lot of counter picking. They see a certain hero, they're like, okay, we're picking this, blah, blah, blah. It's, just, it's a lot more standard. So, Oh, as you say, so far no surprises really. Good to see Immortals banning out that Omni Knight as well as the Razor. I'm actually going to check how much they played against each other when they were the previous roster. They have not played versus each other. At least when they were listed as IDFC. So, first pick for VGJ. What are they going to take? Tiny's gone, Omni's gone, Bounty's gone. A lot of sort of the uh, more likely first openers, but the eye is still there and they oh. will take it. But we did. They got to take Beastmaster on Immortals. They've got to somehow break up that combo, it's, otherwise, that lane is going to get run down. Yeah, they're going to IO Beast for sure. On the side of VG Stone, that is. So, what can they look to grab here? They could still do the Disruptor or Witch Doctor, one of the two. Could be really nice versus this. And is Naga left? They could actually do Disruptor Naga, right? Oh, yeah, Naga Siren's left it. Yeah. Take the Naga Siren. I think you take Disruptor Naga on take Immortals. The, Naga, you get straight on top of the Io in each team fight. Disruptor Disrupt Naga, them. surely. Surely. It's that take it. If they're letting you take it, you absolutely take it. Don't mess around. Naga Disruptor. And I'm inclined to say that'll win you the game. <laughs> Naga Disruptor. Take it. Ten seconds remaining. Come on, it's, I mean, this Naga Disruptor saying King Disruptor, seconds. I'd assume it would be the Naga. Naga Siren is just so good against Dyer. <laughs> it's... It's there. You take it, surely, if you're mortals. 
maybe they want to take the Beastmaster. They have I, to, they have to think, think it. They have care, to think, right? I don't think you care about letting them have a Beastmaster if you get Naga Disruptor. You could just get run over in the lanes, though. Sure, but as soon as that level six hits, yeah, yeah, you, you have, have of course. very easy team fights you can I think, turn. And I think that's what they're thinking, though, right? Right? They're like, do we take the Beast or do we take the Naga or do we just go for something completely different? I think there's... I think it is a bit scary if you do go that Naga. But... Taking them a long time to pick the Naga. And to the bonus time, Immortals go. Naga Siren, ladies and gentlemen. That's the hero we're missing. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, of course they're gonna. Take I mean, it. we said it from the, the immortals. You're being smart. I, I said like it from the start. Teams, you said know? it from the start, but you know, if, honest, it seemed like they had something else in mind if they waited that long. It's a beastmaster instant pick, right? Know, Did they take the beast? These pros, oh, they, they, they don't quite, you know, think as quick as we do, you know, fog. Did they take the beast? I'm gonna grab it. They do, of course they do. Uh -huh. I mean, they, they take it, but as I said, I think you're fine letting that through if you're immortals. Do you? you got dis yeah, absolutely. You got disrupted, Naga. The honestly, like, have you seen what this lane does? They, especially versus a disruptor. You can do things against them. Okay, fair. You know what? I'm sure. I'm okay. You, you know see what? it. They must Fine. have a plan for it. Naga's also a pretty strong, pretty strong laner. Your high armor, you have high damage, and you reduce armor of the IO. So I mean, of course, that is a great pickup for Immortals. But I've seen this IO Beastmaster run over games quite handily in a lot of these situations. I don't know, much, Yeah. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see which one it works. If the it, it Beastmaster can... is good enough, but it's different, I'm, I'm right? worried for VGJ already. You are worried for Storm I'm already. I'm worried for Storm already. Okay. Disruptor Naga Siren does not lose games, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. It really Ten doesn't. Biased remaining. caster for newbie, clearly. For newbie? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, who isn't biased towards S Triple C? Everyone wants SCCC to win. What? I'm all about KP, man. KP, okay. KP's my KP boy. fanboy, though. Like KP, yeah. He's a good dude. Yes, nice lads on newbie. Really? They are they are super nice, nice guys, yeah. So they ban out the gyro. Very well behaved, very well disciplined yeah. boys on. They ban out the gyro because there's already the combo. Naga plus gyro disruptor. Just we've seen that one time and time again. Just run over. So what the go for well, here? I think you take the. Um, Ten seconds remaining. I'm trying to think, what do we see? Immortals play earlier. They were good on. Sanking is still there if you want to put it on your flame. Dire team pick. Oh, they've got the tide. Oh, I like that. Naga like tide, tide Naga disrupt. you got two ways to set up some incredible team fights. They are all based on team fight right now, though, right? I think they that, do have I a lot of fine. long cooldown ultis already on this team. Between the Naga and Tide Hunter. I mean, said, well, later on the, the, cool, the cooldown. Of, I mean, the cooldown of the song as well goes quite a bit down, doesn't it? It goes down. Yeah, but what are you going to get? You don't really get the wave too many times on I mean, this that's one. True, I guess, yeah. That's true. That's true. It is long cooldown early. Yes. Yeah. So VGJ, what do they want with that IO Beastmaster? As you said, well, they're very good with the Beastmaster IO. What do they normally, what do they normally take with it? You know? Give me one second. I'm failing. They've, the thing is, they've opened up with this a lot, and they've drafted pretty much everything with it. To be honest, it's not like anything, just straight specific. They usually pick some other. Uh, heroes that benefit from the Beastmaster aura from the Inner Beast. So they want to at least have somebody who can be that physical damage there. A lot of times, it's been that Shadow Fiend a couple of times, which I think in this game, you want BKB cores because you see Tide Runner, you see Disruptor, you see Naga. They're going for the combo. You need heroes that can break out of that. Can't think of the Witch Doctor, but it's sustain. Any sort of healing hero, very nice with the Io. Always great to versus Tide Hunter too, because Maledict can't be dispelled from Kraken Shell. So in the laning phase, you can actually punish that Tide quite heavily. Okay. So is, is Razor banned? Razor's not. Oh yeah, Razor was banned first. So I, I was. Oh god, it was dark. It was dark. It was dark. I swear. Five I could just look there remaining. instead of looking here, but it was dark. I'm still. I think you know, if you're VGJ, you do want some sort of method to stop the Naga. The uh, Weaver coming out. I I'll, I like the Weaver this time. Weaver around, versus Io. Because. That and yeah, overall VGJ's lockdown. It's not great. It's it is the raw. Sure, there's the cast, but Weaver's able to get himself away from that with the Shikuchi. So the the raw really you're only a reliable lockdown for that Weaver. He's really strong in that lane too. Yeah. If you get on top of the IO at all, there's Weaver minus armor, Naga minus armor. The bug's very nice as well bugs. to set up for glimpses from Disruptor. Yeah. It's that's it, a, I'm, that's a good I'm liking pick. what Immortals have here. I think VGJ they need to have some sort of big answer to. Uh, 
So as I say, stopping the combo that Naga is going to look to set up for some way of getting on top of the Naga on the back lines. I guess at the moment they do have the IO relocate and such, which can be used quite nicely. But I'd like to see something a little bit more from VGJ to help counter that that big play that Immortals will be able to set up. And uh, do they just pick something like a Terror Blade on Storm if they want to be banned. greedy? Am I really just not noticing any ban? I'm blind. Come on, Fog. I'm not blind. Right now, You're blind. Yeah. They want a carry that can go BKB. This is the same thing. You can spin out of the combo. And Witch Doctor plus Juggernaut, that is a kill lane that can actually threaten the Tidehunter. I'm sorry, I'm so blind right now. I don't know what's happening with me, dude. I'm falling apart today. You're catching, you got one prediction now back against me now? I don't know what's happening. I mean, you're right, you're right. The Jug Witch Doctor, nice against the Tide, but... Mm -hmm. And it's good to breach the, the combo. It's like if you get slept, you still will get caught in sleep. I guess, I guess. It, you will get so caught in sleep static storm. That's the one problem. You still have to go for BKB. I'm a little. I just uh, you pick the jug as well against a weaver, and I feel like maybe you would have liked to have a core that offered a bit more lockdown, as this weaver is is going to be able to kite up the juggernaut for days. Sure, eventually you want to get the the basher abyssal but until that point i think they have to take dk the weaver is going to run circles around your juggernaut i, I do think they need some stun they, 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 and they need like dragon knight or something in this mid lane god how did i not I mean, notice terribly in razor band in the first two those are the first two bands what's wrong with me i think i'm gonna what, beat myself up about it now dk would be good again i think yeah dk would i think dk be the best because I'm sort of thinking of the other heroes because at the moment the, tra the, the catch is amazing from Immortals, like maybe like the Storms or the Quads, but I'm thinking of these heroes and I'm just thinking you're going to get slept, walked on top of with the Static Storm and then the Storm's gone and such, but... And they'll take a I like this, so this is a hero that doesn't really worry too much about the combo being laid down upon him. Uh, so but what, again, it's, just... it's not locked down. I think this Weaver is going to have quite a free game. I think this is a really good Weaver game. The mm. Immortals picked it when there was two picks left on VGJ. And I think the Jug and the Viper have addressed sort of having seconds, that chance remaining. to react to the combo. I feel like they they're haven't looking, addressed the Weaver. I feel like they're looking to just group Five up. That's my one thing. I feel like they're looking to just group up with Healing Ward, with the IO, with Beastmaster, and just okay. kind of run at them and not let them kind of just abuse that the ultis to constantly set up fights. So what do Immortals want for their mid lane? They've picked like heroes that don't really rely on cooldowns yeah. on the side of uh, Vici. So I think they're trying to take advantage of Immortals' uh, slower, slower paced team fight aspect. Immortals for that mid lane. Um, what are the heroes that we actually do see a lot of times versus that Viper? I mean, I wouldn't mind if they took a page out of OG's book and ran the, uh, the Brewmaster in the mid lane. Could be very nice against the IO, taking him out of the fight. But again, this is something that's questionable that's if they can actually do it. Specific. It's yeah. very specific. What else have you got? I think this is definitely a game where... Uh, no, no, no. I was going to say... No, no, I won't. Because it's bad. Bad suggestion. Um, I was thinking... Something, some other carry. Something that can they can rely yeah, on. Like a long sure, or yeah, something. Sure, yeah, because the Weaver on its own is a little bit weak. They want something else that they can rely on. I'm thinking like... I would have wanted to say TA, but the Jug and the Viper absolutely put me off that. Oh, yeah, I don't like TA. I don't like that hero, to be honest, right now. Hero. The Brewmaster is there. Look at that. No, no. We still got it here. The Dream League. The Corsair Dream League. It's who, the is, who is this guy? That's right. You know, TI, I'll be on the panel, you know. Fire all these other phony analysts. Get me what? in. The Brewmaster there to counter Have the Viper. Have you seen it in one game from OG and you... Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, Owen. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you very much. I'll take about them. Yeah. So there, Brewmaster? That, that was, I gotta be honest, I like this draft from the Disruptor Naga. Immortals are gonna win this game. I've seen it all. GG, well played. Immortals, they're gonna win it. I'm going with Immortals. I'm going with GJ Storm. I think they're Ooh. going for fast pace. And I think that Immortals is incredibly cooldown oriented on all four of their, on four of their big heroes. I think. I'm gonna go for Storm here, yeah. Dude, you're, you're a lunatic for going against this route. Now, I'm telling you, I'm excited for this because <laughs> I, I, be, really I, be I really believe that this Immortals are winning this. This is your data catch back, this we'll is your data catch we'll back up, Owen. We'll see, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be exciting nonetheless. I hope we get a close one. As we said, every game has been sort of over pretty sharply. They picked Brew into the Viper. Do, I see know the lane Brew. matchup, but you get, Coro you get Nether Toxin later. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. And it that, breaks that's Crackle Shell for the Tide Hunter. Uh, if they if they roar plus Nether Tox in the Tide, he's locked down. Yeah, but then they're roaring the Tide. But they burst. And then 
this this Naga Siren sings his song and then it's all over. Uh, we'll see. Uh, that's it. We've <laughs> got some polarizing views on this one. This Mortals. is going to be good. This will be fun. I'm going to crack open a cold one. There we go. For this one. Because I think it's going to be fun. We've got some fun teams here. We like a bit of fun. Does anyone in chat like some fun? Give me a smiley face and say I like fun. Thank I want you. fun. If you don't like fun, you'll get banned. Yep. yep. I'm sorry for being blind as well, sorry. guys. You know, I'm, I'm sorry I can't see these heroes for some reason. I'm just calling every hero that's banned in the game. XD! Velo sees the Beastmaster, ward the lane, and he gives him an XD. That's getting, <laughs> inst that's getting insta dewarded. Let's watch Dubu on his trek to dewarded. it. Dubu. Da, 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 on his... Well, how do you say that? Is it a Strugwa? That's what it's called, isn't it? A strike wire? It's the mount. Is it strike wire? It's Rampant the Scaled Hunter. No, but the name of what Disruptor has. I mean, uh, the, the Rampant's his name. You know, that's his the name. It's that a it's Scaled called. Hunter. No, but isn't it a strike wire? Isn't that what it's called? A stride the last of the legendary Am I thinking of someone else? Who's, who, who, rides, who rides a strike wire? Strike wire was like Bloodseeker in Dota 1, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. I'm getting confused. Wasn't just, it? You're right. Struggle is. Wasn't that right? <laughs> yeah, Struggle is Bloodseeker. I knew I it. I don't know why I thought that was a Get struggle. out of here. <laughs> oh, where, where's Slacks when we need him? How's chat doing? Uh, They're good. Oh, they're exactly. They're good. just saying Owen's, an, Owen's amazing, and then they're calling me old because I couldn't see stuff. Oh, you are pretty old. Thanks. That's the right one. Everybody's old. You're young. I'm the youngest. You are a baby. And you're I the, am the youngest and the tallest. And the tallest. That's me. And there's the there's the ward. V Velo actually takes the money. Good. Yeah. Good man. So, so what do we got? And they are actually switching the lanes up. So it is going to be a aggro tri lane and Beastmaster top. Oi! That's my rune, says him assassin. A gift from the tempest of he gets the bottle right away. Still a rune up top for uh, Immortals to take. They're not taking that one yet. But. So is, is MSS just going to go join his Beastmaster? I, I would think he I think, would. I think you have to, sure. Yeah, you want to abuse the Beastmaster IO strength in lane. And Tidehunter, they're, they're, they're walking back and forth. They don't know which lane they want. All right. They're putting the Weaver bottom. They're putting the Naga Weaver bottom. Yeah, you want, you want the Naga Weaver against the Juggler. And you, yeah, he absolutely want you. This is yeah. These are the lanes that immortals want. Yeah, definitely. They don't want the tide to get sacked versus uh, Jug no. plus Maledict. Because the thing is, in this, in this lane down bottom, once there's a few levels on the Weaver, you, you can get kills down here. SVG has to be very careful on the Witch Doctor. Mm -hmm. He kind of has to just stand in the lane. Mm -hmm. He has to let his Jug protect him. But yeah, this melee matchup, as I was mentioning earlier, something that we saw no tell uh, do before on OG and oh sorry no it, it, went, it was no tell it was no tell it was no tell, no tell played it and uh, it works out at least it worked out then we'll see if it works out again I mean so far so good as you can see with the CS is no it's the only first wave bottom down bottom though Maledict and Blade Fury this is the combo you talked about which has a lot of potential the kill yeah and the it kill will. Lane. yeah I'm known for my so hey first blood for VGJ one. Storm Maledict Blade Fury will do that. So as uh, much as SVG has to be careful, Febby as well has to make sure he doesn't walk in town. Top lane! Hello! Nearly getting cut down. Has the one charges in the south. We'll keep him alive. So playing versus Io, it's all about the rune control. You have to kind of contest those bounty runes with multiple heroes yeah. to make sure he doesn't keep filling up the bottle. Now two minutes is coming up, and uh, you can see already. They assert their dominance. Yeah. Storm they gets. want both of these. They should be able to get them as well. I mean, I think we are going to see what you said. You, you would expect what VGJ Storm, they should have the better time in the lanes overall. They, they want to play very again. aggressive. Yeah. They're playing it perfectly, to be fair to them here. The Jug Witch Doctor abusing every sort of misposition by Fabi. Two kills on this bottom lane already for Storm. Yeah, they just want to play super aggressive at all pa points in the game. They want to take advantage because Immortals, they have, a, they have long cooldown ulties. That's pretty much it. Laning phase, yeah, same thing. They've got the... Jug Witch Doctor kill lane and the IO Beastmaster lane domination, as we've seen a lot of times in this region. Mid, like you said, Brew. Yeah. 10-7 to the 3 and 3 of Viper. I really think more people are going to cotton on to this. Anytime there's a Viper in the game, it really does. If you know how to play the Brew, this matchup can massively swing in your favor. I, and to be honest, I've seen a lot of matchups that I used to. I'd rate Viper so highly in a lot of the old ones, and he's actually just not that hero he used to be without the Nether Toxin being the way it was. Bottom lane, they brought Zubu in. Yeah, MP's not having, uh, not having a fun time down here. He's even getting pressured. 
They get the side pull as well from uh, SVG. So a bit of farm being denied the way of Immortals. MSS and Snaking. They're looking to get aggressive up top. Baylor. Level 3 at the moment. So has got those two points now and smash. Damage reduction certainly help him. So he'll be fine. But uh, yeah, as we can see, Snake King getting good farm out of this lane. The Beastmaster IO lane proving to be as strong as we certainly expected it to do at the in the lanes. The both dual lanes for VGJ Storm really doing doing absolutely what they must. And yeah. be, be careful. Again, we're going to see that four minute rune. Four minute mark start hitting, and we're going to see both the Beastmaster and the IO contest those runes to make sure they get the bounties. Now this mid lane, though, look at this. Ooh. 21 to 10 against the 10 for 4. The Brewmaster. I, seriously, it's so damn Bottom. good. Got the setup. They are looking for SVG, and he will be stuck in the kinetic field, so Immortals will claim his life. They give themselves their first kill of the game. MSS, though, keeping control of those bounties. Did he get all four bounties? Oh, no, he got three bounties there on the IO, huh? Still pretty good. Nice. Still pretty nice. He's rich. I mean, oh, just kidding. He only got two. Oh, okay. I didn't see the Beastmaster still oh, still, top. still pretty good. Yeah. Looks like they're going to switch the lanes up. SVG finds the D ward in mid. Fabi. Uh -uh. With the haste rune. Hey, nice TP. We'll just walk in and cancel it. Yeah, well, he's going to be a bit miffed at that. Yeah, he's going to make his long <laughs> venture toward top. Oh, no. That's that's actually that's a lot of wasted time. Yeah. Snake King. Now they're like, oh, wait, we got to pause. We got to make the decision. What do you want to do, Jug? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're there to have a bit of a chill out pause there for, for you are. He was probably quite. He's like, you, what's he even doing? <laughs> <laughs> probably quite annoyed at that. He's now just going to probably roam and try to get a kill with spin before he makes his way top. Yeah, he's got his phase boot. So, <laughs> so he, could, he, could try, he could try for something mid. Frog gets too aggressive. I think he just didn't run top. He might. I mean, he's he's looking look, mid, looking. honestly, he is. He's actually going to try for it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a quick TP out. All right, that works. And now he goes top. Okay. Doesn't waste too much time. That bottom lane MP. So now Storm, they do have the lanes they wanted. And they actually came out. You know, they came out in an okay spot with the setups that were. No, they did, it's yeah. Just the, that, it's just that mid. Yeah, that's the, the big discrepancy. The side lane, dual lanes that they had were, were certainly very strong. And uh, we, we are seeing that. And that, I mean, that jug oh, rotation cool. on pressuring mid, that actually helped Tomato a hell of a lot. He's now caught up in last hits. Alleviates the pressure here. So Yawar might actually be saying thank you to Febby for stopping his TP. And Tide goes bottom, lane switches. Well MP gets the kill up Got top. Got a solo one. What? He did. Shikuchi's in. It might cost him his life, and it does. Not worth it. One for one. What have we here? Continuously protecting those bounty runes for the IO. They want to use Bruce Blood. They want to go for this Viper in mid. It's pretty tanky, though. He's got the Raindrop and Fairy Fire, and they do have IO with the TP. So those dives are a little bit scarier. Loaded to the guild. You never really want to push too far versus an IO diving under towers. Radiant are scanning. Down bottom. Here we go, the Beastmaster IO trying to give a bit of a rundown onto Velo. And Velo is nearly level six, so we'll have that Ravage. So those sort of aggressive plays are going to get harder and harder to do, but they're still trying to use the fact that he isn't quite six. Dubu hiding in the trees. So they go in. Finds him. They cut it down. Quick glimpse back onto Snake King. Trying to buy some space. Velo now does now have six. Dubu will be fine. Does not require the help of the Tide with his Ravage as he drops the kinetic field and retreats out of there. BGJ Storm still down here. They do have the Roar and they are going to make an attempt with the Roar and the Malady. They should find it. Velo will put the Ravage and with that, they'll actually be able to turn and look towards Snake King. The save is there from MSS. They've dropped down the kinetic field. Velo should pop to the Maledicts, and he will do so. So VGJ Storm get the kill, and MSS keeps one another alive as VGJ Storm will all manage to escape. And they've got a Shrine available, so they're going to go back in full heal and keep this pressure going. And that's a Ravage baited. Yeah, good stuff 
from the from the storm side. I mean, supports will also it, shrine on the side of Immortals, so yeah. they will kind of reset that bottom lane. But yeah, they take advantage of that tighter and SVG's level six on Witch Doctor. Yeah, those kills and involvements that he's had <laughs> down bottom. Death Ward is very threatening versus Tide Hunter. If he gets a stun Maledict, I think they actually can just kill that Tide with the Death Ward. Yeah, this bottom lane is it's a death lane for yes. Immortals. Whoever goes down here is in a lot of trouble. They will be dove upon, and Velo has to play this very cautiously. Any sort of setup for, as you say, the, the death ward to come out. They've got to be careful though about the brew or the uh, the brewmaster TP. He does have one available. But Viper now showing up. Yeah, you got to get out of here if you're a Yeah, they it might. Just you, you just attack. have to leave this tower. And yeah. These four heroes absolutely terrifying. Unless you bring in, down. Yeah. yeah, if you bring in massive mass numbers, as you say, the Primal split is there. I, it's still not an easy fight though, because you don't have Ravage. There's no one showing mid right now. I think Storm is very aware that this is happening right now. Yeah, this is it's very hard for Immortals to get a bite into. They might be able to get a glimpse at least on one target here. They're looking for Sne, and they close the gap. They should be able to. They're moving in. Kinetic Field Ball come down. The cask in response. They're trying to get out the Primal Split, but he gets raw. Death Ward, can he get it out in time? He can. The split comes through. They turn towards Snakey, but he's being healed up by MSS. They'll send MSS up into the air, but it looks like it Death doesn't Ward. matter. They've lost Febby. They will get SVG at least in response. So a one for one, make that a two for one as Tomato actually cleans up. Dubu on the way out. Velo just hiding in the tree line. This brew in trouble as well. Raya will TP out. Oh no! Doesn't quite make it. Tomato picks up the big bucks, gets the double kill as he cuts down Raya. So, so it always it felt like a very ambitious play there from Immortals to fight into Storm. And uh, it did not pay off as they were now proceed to lose their tier one tower to the push of the Beastmaster. Death Ward did 2100 oh. damage in that fight. They are TPing in. They still want to try and do something with Velo. MSS will TP out, but they get the glimpse on the IO. MSS tethers across. And he's out of there. He is A-OK. -okay. MSS can't chase. Uh, he's not going to be chased. Radiance MP can't close the gap. The heals coming out from MSS Radiant there in that fight, though. We've been seeing this actually a lot lately on the IOs, is them carrying around these extra salves. Yeah. So right there, he salved and just tethered to the Beastmaster in that whole entire fight, and Death Ward just completely ripped apart all of Immortals. Mid lane, this is a new danger place to be. Ryo, he does not have Primal Split. He's being roared. Death Ward's down. The, be the Brewmaster is gone. VGJ Storm absolutely killing it here. After having successful lanes, and now, as you said, this was what you thought could happen. This it's all about early this. pressure. Yeah, it's all about just running at them. Don't let them get any space on the map. Absolutely not. Because as soon as that six hits for Febby, yeah. then things get a lot harder. But until that point, VGJ Storm, and they can have a complete free roam at the map. Febby, a creep away from that six, and then there is the chance for Immortals to turn around these sort of pushes. But until that point, VGJ Storm. Loving life, the three highest net worth heroes on the map. 6k gold lead, just 11 minutes in. They have to be able to find the IO in the back line, so that's the most important thing. Top, Storm, just looking to claim every single tower here. Vela has to be careful there. Is an Omni Slash available for you? Are Vela keeps He's his distance. Got Ogre, the Ice Armor. He's a lot tankier now. But yeah, this tower Radiance drops down, but Naga is getting closer. Do they have Disrupt or Ulti? Radiance they do not yet. Is under attack. Maybe seeing if they can get some sort of a glimpse. Tomato turns with the Viper Strike straight down onto the tide. Velo goes for the Ravage. We'll catch on to a couple of them. The root through the Blade Fury holding down the Jug. They'll turn towards the Viper. They've brought MP in as well. They really want to find Tomato, but MSS is going to be there with the Relocate to take him out of there. Febby with the Song. Looking to set up onto the back line as they'll surround Yawar. They've got the root down onto the Witch Doctor, but SVG gets the Death Ward out. Takes down Velo. They're the ones to lose a hero first on the side of Immortals. They'll surround Yawar. Yawar still alive. They've got the stun onto the Brewmaster, the Brew gets cut down by the Omni Slash. Tomato picks up the double kill. You are gets the healing ward down. He's gonna survive. He the healing ward. Finally lose the jug, but it's cost Immortals three lives. As there's a triple kill for Tomato. Dubu goes for the TP out, will make it. MP trying to keep himself hidden. They're chasing. He should be fine with the Shikuchi. So much sustain coming out. Look at the damage just between the supports, too. Io and Witch Doctor doing combined 3,000 damage in that fight. Oh, Courier. During that entire time, too, that was all five of Immortals' heroes. They didn't have level six on Disruptor and snaking on the Beastmaster. Takes bottom tower, 
finishes his book one, gets a book two as well. That was a 4v5 engagement up top, Owen, versus Primal Split and Ravage. Yeah, VGJ Stormer, they're just absolutely killing it. 9k lead, this lineup, it looks pretty incredible. They're doing everything they need to. The song usage up there at top just wasn't quite optimal. Yeah, MSS straight at the start with that relocate out of it. Yeah, he tried to stop the reload so yeah. that they could burst the Viper, but yeah, just just off Mar and the glimpse too. It, it pulled him out of the glimpse right away. Mid lane, they got to be careful. There's a wraparound coming in from Snake King, looking for the setup. Does find the roar onto Raya, and Raya is gone. That's going to be the brew down again. VGJ Storm. They're playing so fast. They are playing. These guys look great. That sounded weird in my ear. Was that a monster? Monster? No, it was the IO song, wasn't it? No, I, I think you took a sip of your monster Radiance at the same time. <laughs> uh, if I take a sip of my monster, it sounds yeah. like this. So the, um, also... I, I couldn't <sighs> have said anything. So the other thing that played a big factor there was Tomato's skill build. You see he has the max nether toxin. So it actually dunks out a decent amount of damage in the fights. And he can just keep breaking the Tidehunter oh. like Tide is in trouble. That static storm hits three though, but oh, Tide. Hello, Dev Ward. SVG is under attack. Drops down the turret, takes and him down SAM style. That's a 10k gold advantage already too, and they are still full health ready to battle. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Snay. He's in. Radiance middle tower. Easy tower fallen. defense. Everyone just looks like they're getting. Is this an Io getting a Dominator? Oh, that's, that sounds, that sounds pretty cool. Middle tower is under attack. I mean, it's smart. I think I'd prefer him to get a mech this game if he wants to be greedy for items. Just having that extra burst heal is just way too good. Top to lane. MP has to be careful. Velo. Oh, goes for the AFK Ravage debate. Doesn't really do much, though. As now he's in trouble. Song. They, the song, they want to just disengage song out of this. Song for what? Full disengage. But that's a song and a Ravage. And now, Storm. They relocate in. Glimpse him back as well. Trying to save Velo, but it's not going to work. Uh, this is not looking good. GJ Storm. Yeah, I was, as I said, I, I was riding the Disruptor Naga train, but I, I guess I underestimated how well VGJ Storm would, just as you say, dominate the lanes. I, I did worry that would happen a bit, but not this much. This is just... Uh, it's, complete outplay in the lanes for it's, BGJ. It's really a lot about just the speed that they're playing. Yeah. Like that, that top fight was unbelievable, the way that they took that 4v5. It's like the little things, getting the healing ward in the tree lines, getting the relocate while the glimpse happens. They dodge the Naga sleep, and they just tank up through the entire Bruce Oh, Oh, here we go. 15 minutes in, time to push in. There's no Song Book of the three. Siren. There is no Ravage. They have this Static. Is... They do have the Split. This is a Rax, on. They're trying. Ryo jumps in with the Split. Healing Ward is down. They've got to get rid of it, but they're microing it perfectly. MP just walks into a roar. They lose the Weaver. He is gone. Tomato on the front lines just biting for... I think this might just be over. I think this might just be over. I think I was... I said we were hoping for a close one, close series to end the day, but this game one, if there's anything to go by, means that we could see some very quick games indeed. Once again, 16 minutes in. They are just... They're too tanky. This Io. I think you got to ban it. They played this way too well. Tomato on the Viper 2, 7 0 and 4. Even though he struggled a bit in the mid lane, he is crushing it. His Nether Toxin in the fight's absolutely perfect, catching right on top of the Tidehunter every single time. Kraken Shell doesn't exist. Brewmaster, same thing. There's no Brawler. And this is two sets, 16 minutes in. It might be able to hold on this second one. Oh no. Let's go. Smoke back. They, sh they can just look to go for a Roche. They want to play it really safe. Full Vlad's now on it. Snaking's Beastmaster, 109. Seven, 18k lead at 17 minutes. It has, it's beating that 1k a minute rule that we very rarely see broken in a Dota 2 with regards to comebacks occurring. I think Immortals, they do, this is just desperation mode. They've got to find something big, but they run into Storm when there's smoke oh, too. Oh no! And now the ball will die. Oh, whose ball was that? Did they nick the ball? He did. Don't Velo, he nicked, he nicked Snake King's dog. Look at Tomato. He's just going on to Velo here. Does not care. He's broken. There's no Kraken shell. Nether Toxin. Too good. It is.
Yep, into Rush Pit. They've got book three available. Don't think they really need to commit it to kill this, though. They should be able to bring it down very fast with their lineup and go for that last top Rax. I don't see a great way for Immortals. I think the best way they have to get is actually if they can steal this Agent They've got song. the song. They've got to use it right now. They're not using it right now. The Aegis is in the hands of Yuwa. VGJ Storm. They're chatting, Mortals are just about running away with this, but they're like, we got to get out of here. Bottom oh, I do, but we'll make it, though. They'll, they'll, they'll TP out. They'll TP out. Bottom 20. Has fallen. 20k lead. Now, I think what they're relying on is landing a, like, actually, last time they kind of landed, like, a three-man storm into a primal split. They need the Ravage, though. They have to have the Ravage. They have to have it's... Ravage. They have to connect. They have to kill the Io in the beginning of these fights, because he's just... His sustain is yeah. far too high. I'm gonna as soon as this game ends, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna get to the healing, and I'm gonna tell you guys how much he's actually healed in this game, because it has been pretty ridiculous. Here we go, Immortals. They're gonna try for it. The song to set things up, but the Blade Fury is already out from your wall. What can they do? They are gonna go for it. In with the Ravage onto two. They're trying to focus Snake King straight away. Can they get it? They do get the Static Storm down. They'll take they Snake tank. King, but the Omni Slash is already out from your wall. Tomato's falling low. Tomato. Will he fall? He will. They, they have managed to get two here, Immortals. Can they get anything more? This the stun's big. out onto the Witch Doctor, surrounded. SVG healing up, though, with the Voodoo Restoration. The Primal Split now ending. Ryo gets the clap down onto SVG. Velo trying to get back in on this one as they look towards SVG. He will fall as MP picks up the double kill. BGJ Storm losing a fair few. MSS trying to run out of this. They're chasing him, Immortals. Can they get the pesky Io? He'll tether across Yawa. Chase it down with the Blade Fury. He's picking up these kills. Double kill for Emma for Yawa. Triple kill for Yawa. They call it. He, they Ultra just, kill. They just killed four heroes. Yawa. They just killed four heroes. With actually, they killed all five heroes with just the two of them and the Beastmaster. Oh, comments. ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. So game one goes towards VGJ Storm. They almost got that fight back too. They, oh. got, they got like everybody with it. I actually was a little confused. They gave the Jug the Aegis. I thought they'd give it to Mono because of how dominant he was, but. Either way, it was they, aren't able to, it, they aren't able to kill the Io. The it was Io a survives. It he was, sustains everybody. It was a stomp. No, no question about it. It was a stomp. Fiji J Storm. They stomped it. Well, we normally do this after the break. Okay, well, we'll you're, do that. You're ruining my show flow, but I'll do it now if you want it now. I'll just put that there. Get point. So, I think I did think they committed a little bit too much on the ultis, and I was I, not. I, you were right. You were right. I was wrong. Yeah, and I you think right. no, no, no. I don't think it comes down all to that. I think. Well, it um, does. I mean, I was wrong. You were right. I think yeah. the top fight was really important because they didn't have disruptor six. If they had disruptor six, I actually think they would have won that fight. So I think that was the biggest one for me. They tried to set up with the sleep and with the split, but overall, though, I think either way, immortals. They looked a little bit. Uh, not connected with all their ultis. They were kind of just like sleep, ravage, disengage all it, over the place and stuff like that while Storm were running at them nonstop. Yeah. It really seemed like, a, as a, I like the draft of Immortals, but it maybe seemed like a draft that they may have not actually been too used to playing themselves. Like Especially like that Brew last pick, maybe it was sort of just, a, oh, there's a Viper, we've seen this work, let's do it ourselves. Because the lane was played nicely, but yeah, the overall team play was... It fell apart, but the same oh, yeah, wait, I had to tell the healing, sorry. Oh, yeah, we're going to check the healing. Sorry, I, yeah, want, I, I want to tell the healing for but, you guys. But yeah, overall, VGJ Storm, just the pace that they played was incredible. It was, honestly, VGJ Storm, other than that one slip up today, uh, where they let Aoi 2K get the Naga Siren, we'll let yeah. them off. Every other game has been impressive. So the highest damage on Immortals was 10,000 by the Weaver. Everybody else was like 5 to 7K, the Naga to 2K. Yeah. And the healing done by MSS was 7,000. And everybody on the side of VGJ Storm actually did about 10,000 damage. So it was very well-rounded and team aspect from Storm. That was that was sick. I think the IO might actually crazy. be something you ban. I think or you, you take the Beast. I think you ban I. I think you ban I. I think I, you ban I, the IO. With seeing the way that uh, MSS was playing at this, uh, this, this game, you've got to take it away. We'll find out anyway after the break, ladies and gentlemen, here. The Corsair Dream League Season 9 was... Uh, we are one game into this final best of three of the day with VGJ Storm taking a confident lead. We'll see you in a few minutes. Tune out a world of ordinary. 